the next question for a first order reaction the ratio of time for 99.9% .9 completion of reaction to half life of a reaction is a 2 b 4 c 10 and d 8 the reaction is of first order for a first order reaction the expression for rate constant is k is equal to 2.303 by t into log of a by a minus x to the base 10. Here a is the initial concentration, x is the amount that has reacted in time t and a minus x is the amount unreacted in time t. So here if we take a as 100 then x is equal to 99.9 .9 and a minus x is equal to 1. Substituting these values in the expression k is equal to 2.303 by t 99.9 .9 into log of 100 by 0.1. Log of 100 by 0.1 is log 1000 and log 1000 is 3. Therefore, k is equal to 2.303 by t 99.9 .9 into 3 or this would be equal to 6.909 by t 99.9. .9. That is t 99.9 percent .9 will be equal to 6.909 by k. For a first order reaction, t half is equal to 0 0.693 by k. When we compare these two expressions, we find that t 99.9 .9 is 10 times t half and therefore the answer is C that is 10. to the next question. A radioactive isotope having a half-life period of 3 days was received after 12 days. It was found that there were 3 grams of isotopes in the container. The initial amount of isotope when packed was the options are 36 grams, 48 grams, 12 grams and 24 grams. Students, you need to know that radioactive disintegration is a first order reaction. Whatever expressions we have for a first order reaction holds good for a radioactive disintegration reaction. Now here we have to find out the initial amount. The half life period is 3 days. We need to know as to what was the initial amount when the radioactive acid top received after 12 days was only 3 grams. One must note here is Supposing the initial amount is x, in the first half-life period it becomes half of x. In the next half-life period it becomes half of this that is 1 4 or 1 by 2 squared x. Extending the same logic, after 3 half-life periods the amount left behind will be 1 by 2 power 3 into x and after 4 half-life periods it will be 1 by 2 to the power 4 into x and so on. So now in this particular problem what is the amount that was received? It is 3 grams. What is the half life period? It is 3 days. And what is the time period after which the radioactive isotope was received? It is 12 days. In 12 days you have 4 half life periods. So now during 4 half life periods what will happen is the amount left behind will be equal to the initial amount divided by 2 to the power n, where n is the number of half-life periods in the given time. In this case, the given time is 12 days, half-life period is 3 days, therefore the value of n will be 4 and hence the amount in the container 3 is equal to initial amount 
divided by 2 to the power 4 or the initial amount will be equal to 3 into 16 and that is equal to 48 grams and therefore the right answer for this question is 48 grams. Temperature is one of the factors which affects the rate of a reaction and it is found that in case of most of the reactions when the temperature is increased the rate of the reaction increases. It is also found experimentally that when the temperature of a reaction is increased by 10 degree centigrade the rate of the reaction gets doubled. For every 10 degree centigrade rise in temperature the rate of the reaction gets doubled. This leads us to the concept of temperature coefficient of a reaction and temperature coefficient of a reaction is the ratio of the rate constant of a reaction at 10 degrees higher temperature to the rate of the reaction at a given temperature. The velocity of the chemical reaction doubles for every 10 degree centigrade raise of temperature. If the temperature is raised by 50 degree centigrade the velocity of reaction increases nearly by dash times the options are 10, 20, 30 and 50. Now, for every 10 degree centigrade the rate of the reaction and the rate constant of the reaction increases by 2 times in most of the reactions. For 10 degree centigrade rise in temperature it is 2 power 1, for 20 degree centigrade rise in temperature it is 2 power 2, for 30 2 power 3 and so on. In general for T degree centigrade rise in temperature the rate of the reaction increases by 2 to the power n times where n is the temperature rise in temperature divided by 10. In this particular question the temperature rise is 50. So, the value of n will be 50 by 10 which is equal to 5. As mentioned in the question for every 10 degree centigrade rise of temperature the rate of the reaction gets doubled. Therefore, for 50 degree centigrade rise in temperature the rate of the reaction increases by 2 to the power 5 times and 2 to the power 5 is 32 which means that the right answer for this question is nearly 30. Therefore, C is the right option. <laughs>